Hey guys, welcome back to Science Sunday or welcome to Science Sunday if you're new. I know this is a different platform. Normally I post on Instagram, but after a lot of requests, we are switching to a YouTube series. I thought I would start off with something fun on the YouTube channel. And so we are discussing chemiluminescence. As you guys know, a lot of chemical reactions that produce light normally produce heat, but chemiluminescence is the phenomenon when chemicals are actually the things producing light rather than the heat. In this, we have Luminol and luminol normally exists in a ground state, you know, a relaxed state, but an oxidizer in the presence of a catalyst will cause the molecules to get very excited, which produces a nice glow to watch. So before I show you guys the cool thing, how does it work? In addition to luminol being in this, we also have sodium perborate and when it's combined with water, sorry, I don't have a beaker. I don't know where it went. And for the sake of this, I just thought this is okay. But when sodium perborate combines with water, it produces hydrogen peroxide which acts as our oxidizer in this reaction and will produce a really cool glow. But in order to see this reaction, we are going to need to turn the lights down a little lower. Let's watch some chemiluminescence. Ooh. I'm trying to get a little close up of that so you guys can see it a little bit better. Oh my God, it's crazy. So you might think this looked familiar. This is actually how glow sticks work too, as well as fireflies. So now when you see little fireflies buzzing around, you can just think about all the chemiluminescence that's happening inside of them. This will last for a few minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about chemiluminescence and I will see you guys next week. Bye.